Hello and welcome to the review of the GT 690 overclocked edition of the MSI uh, board featuring uh, the MSI uh, Big Bang as well. What we're going to do is try and compare the new machine versus the old machine in a similar benchmarking. So let's start off with the new machine. We've got an Intel i7 with Sandy Bridget E featuring the new 670 GeForce running unfortunately at PCI Express 2 even though we're on a Sandy Bridge Express. We've got um, Big Bang X Power 2 built in. Okay, and the comparison machine is my old rig which is an Intel Core 2 quad uh, Kensfield with a GTX um, 460 in SLI okay and as a side comparison we've got the Alienware <coughs> 14X which is featuring the 650M which is again but this is running at PCI Express 3 an Intel Core i7 Ivy Bridge uh, Alienware versus my old laptop which is a 8600GT and a Core 2 so these machines are qu quite different but we're going to see what they, they're like on a similar benchmark so I've disabled some of the components on here with a view of the same settings on here and you can get a little bit of a feel for kind of loading times to start okay so we're talking over a hundred frames per second which is pretty smooth you have to burn and start kicking in for some of the temperature differences obviously we're still not quite there with the, um, the old machine okay we're now getting 60 frames per second okay let's go to the, over to the laptop and see what we get on here So these are disabled, I'm having to put it in DirectX 10 because the other machine doesn't actually support DirectX 11. I might actually try running it on here, so good chance it won't actually even run on this machine. Okay, there we go, that's the loading times. Nearly went straight into it, holding up about 40 frames per second. I think we should come back once that's loaded, if it ever does load. That's what you could get out of an old, an old laptop, about 10 frames per second. Okay. 